All right, so it's wired hack 75 back with you here, and we've reached a milestone um, in our cheap flashlight hacking. This was the uh, first bag of Cree LEDs. These are the 535, the wide angle ones um, that I've been using in all my projects, and. Uh, these are really good little LEDs. But, that's the first bag of 500. And it's empty. I had to open my second one. You can see I got some here I'm starting to work with. And, uh, here's my bag of C503Cs. <laughs> you can see I'm pretty close to the end on that. And uh, I ran out working on this little board here. Um, <laughs> so that's <laughs> 500 LEDs, 1,000 solder joints, 1,000 leads clipped, and who knows how many desoldered because we've been hacking flashlights. So far, all of these flashlights have been using those LEDs. This is the Ever Ready Lantern that you've seen in some of the other videos. Still haven't made an optic for it, but, um, you know, it's working pretty good. And we've used them in the dollar store flashlights. That's the wide angles. And I did another one with the C503Cs, which are 15 degree. And uh, believe it or not, it actually gave me a pretty good output it's using a little bit of the reflector, but mainly you're just getting those three LEDs together. And then we got these Westinghouse flashlights, which I showed you in another video. And these use four those wide angle LEDs each. Um, this one is using the C535, the wide angle. And uh, I showed you the before and after on these before. But this really, um, the color really improved. And like I said, you know, these are cheap flashlights. I haven't paid more than five bucks for any of these flashlights so far. This one I put the 15 degree in. As you can see on the top left there, one of them is a little bit misaligned. Um, I gotta pull it in because they all pretty much focus together. And it's got kind of a dead spot in the middle. You can see where that cord's hanging. But the output's really good, and we're working on stuff close up. Um, these little flashlights do good. They do really good. I really like them. And they're running double A's instead of triple A's, which you, know, you might think, what's the difference? Well, the, the triple A will give you a little bit less run time. So we were scrolling around today and I found these flashlights at Big Lots. Um, they were on sale for five bucks, and they use nine of those little wide angle LEDs. Um, uses four AA batteries. This is what it came with from the factory here. That's how it comes for five bucks. Um, it's a decent, okay metal light. And the quality on these isn't that bad, and it's actually got a little rubber seal. And like I said, these are Big Lots. They're Big Lot branded. I think it's called Shop Tools or something like that. This one I put the Cree wide angle LEDs in. And uh, as you can see, that's a really nice throw there. Now I'm using the batteries that came with it. They come with the four AA's and they came with some 
non-alkaline, just heavy duty, mercury free, cheap, in this case I'd say Chinese, but they're actually German batteries. So, um, and this is becoming a common re reflector design that I'm running into a lot. And it's effective. It's given me good output. If you look at a flashlight like this coast here, this one just uses straight LEDs. And, uh, you know, it's wider, but, you know, for... See if I can get the three hands going here. You know, five bucks, thirty bucks. You do the job. So we're gonna put the fifteen degree LEDs in one in the other one here, and uh, these are real easy to hack. Um, comes right apart. Circuit board unscrews. There's actually a separate resistor for each LED. All nine LEDs have their own limit, current limiting resistor. And then there's a diode on the board because you can put the batteries in backwards in this one. So the diode actually drops a voltage a little bit. If I remember correctly, the 4001 diode should drop almost a volt. Um, I'm sure they designed that into their resistor choice, but the good thing about this is if you wanted to use a couple different colors in this, you could. Because um, you can change the resistor for each diode. Plus, you can better match the voltage forward um, to each one. So, comes in pretty handy. And the other little thing I found, and I've gone over my $5 budget. Um, this is a little lantern type deal here. Um, it's kind of nice though. The, this was ten bucks at Big Lots. These things come up and fold and swivel and do all sorts of funky stuff. And uh, as you can see here, there's our friend the. 4.8 millimeter wide angle LED. Finding those more and more. Um, they're cheap, they're effective. And this one runs on three D cells. Um, and it's got a little handle here. So, this is a little bit harder to hack. Um, it all unscrews and everything. And actually, I found out that. They run the wires from the battery up to the top and then out into the LEDs here through these stainless steel rods. So when this thing is on, these things are live. Um, you can put a 9 volt battery across here and the LEDs light up. But uh, this has got a double action clicky switch. So here's what it comes with. Cheap Chinese blue LEDs, and of course on this side we got the crease. So it's got little optics on the board on this lens here, and what it does—it's hard to see. It's really wide angle. I mean, it's but it kind of culminates all the light into a very wide spot. It's really even. Um, surprised. Um, and they claim 20 hour run time on this. I'm sure I can get more out of it. So, here's the side with the crease. Um, I think the output can get a little bit better on this. Some of these are misaligned. Each set of three LEDs is on its own board. Um, each side has 15. There's 30 in total. But each set of three is on its own board, and, and they really don't mount to anything. They've got a little melt-off peg. Um, so i got to do some tweaking. But um, this is kind of nice. It, it, it's got the clicky. You can do one, one side here, 
or you can do both sides or off and uh, you know it's kind of nice you can flip this one up so they're both pointing the same direction as you double the light output um, you can flip it around here like that you can flip this one up like that and you can swivel those straight up straight down it's actually pretty handy uh, it'd be super handy if it came with a magnet on the base naturally I'm going to add a about four really strong rare earth magnets down here um, like I said it comes with holds 3D batteries and uh, what I'm going to do with this one is I've got it taken apart here I'm going to do a little bit of hacking in here and see if I can put a rechargeable battery in there because switching out these batteries is a pain um, the bottom D cell is really just jammed in there so there you go that's a little ten dollar light there not too bad once I get done with it it'll be better but we're getting more and more on these uh, we had three from the dollar store then five from another dollar store now we got nine so this little sucker for five bucks and uh, I mean it literally took me like ten minutes to get the new LEDs in there um, it's not too bad it's a real tight beam but it does the job they've also got a spotlight version of this that's a black rubberized version but it's got the same reflector in it holds four double A's um, I've got battery packs like this that come out of uh, rechargeable spotlights that are halogen. And this is a 6 volt one. I've got a 3.6 volt one also. But we're going to try and use some of those because this will run one of these little LED flashlights forever. So that's where we are. Um, I said I just opened up my second bag of 500 here. I'm going to be getting some more. <laughs> I really like these. Um, in my next video I'm going to show you all these arrays that I built. And uh, Got my other bag of 515 degrees here. These are the 503C's. We'll get through those too. And of course I got well, I got tons more. So, and if you guys, uh, you see these Coast LED flashlights I have in my uh, in my collection here. If you buy those, it comes with this offer here for a free flashlight. Um, you just go to their website and fill in a survey, and you send them. Three dollars and fifty cents, and they send you a free flashlight. Um, their website's pretty cool. They've actually got a lot of neat stuff. So that's coastportland.com. And again, I'm not affiliated with them or anything like that, but um, just they make good stuff. So so that's it. Stay tuned. We got more to come.